These are my Europa semi-final leg one predictions and betting tips. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video a like and drop your predictions down in the comments. As you guys know, we've partnered up with SofaScore. In my opinion, one of the best sports apps you can have. I've been using it for years now and I use it basically on a daily basis to check live scores, to check results, to make these predictions that I give to you guys. So if you guys wanna download SofaScore, it's completely free, then make sure to click the top link in my video description, download it and let me know how you guys are enjoying it down in the comments let's get in to the first game now first up we got marseille taking on atalanta now marseille came up against benfica in the quarterfinals and i did think this was going to be a very very difficult matchup for marseille benfica have been in some very very good form but marseille came back from losing the first leg 2-1 came back and won the second leg 1-0 and then beat them on penalties it was a very very even game and matchup in terms of marseille and and benfica in that quarterfinal but marseille just managing to do enough at home to get that draw and go to penalties. They're also coming off a very good 2-1 win over Lons on Sunday in League One. Another very even game. They now sit 7th in League One with one loss in their last five games across all competitions. That loss being their loss to Benfica uh, in League One of the quarterfinals. They'll be looking to make the most of their European season here because they are still fighting for those European spots um, in League One. And if they can just win Europa, then that's going to help them out a a whole lot they do seem to be in good form but their form within Europa this season hasn't been too smooth they've got they've had losses against Virial and Benfica along the way as well as in their domestic league they seem to sort of blow a little bit hot and cold they are a very very good side and they do play a lot better at home they seem to struggle a little bit away from home but Marseille are a very very good side they have lost five and drawn two of their previous seven head-to-head -head fixtures with Italian teams so anything could happen here Atalanta also also having a very very good season they came up against Liverpool in the quarterfinals and for me probably pulled off the biggest upset within Champions League Europa and Conference League they ended up beating Liverpool 3-0 away from home in leg one and then they just had to park the bus and not concede too many goals in leg two which is exactly what they did they only lost 1-0 in leg two meaning that they won 3-1 on aggregate and we knew that they were just going to try and keep as many goals out as they could which is why they only had 30 percent possession and two shots on target they've also been in very very good form in the Serie A they sit sixth at the moment they're coming off a 2-0 win over Empley and they only have one loss in their last five games across all competitions that being that loss to Liverpool in leg two another team that we can definitely consider very very strong at home and not too great on the road. Atalanta are coming off three back-to-back -back wins in the Serie A, so they are in very, very good form. But Marseille do have more European experience. So it's going to be a very, very interesting battle. Atalanta have never made a European final, where Marseille have made have made a final three times, losing all three. So I do think at home, Marseille are going to get the job done here. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Marseille win, but my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we've got an absolutely massive game. Roma taking on Bayer Leverkusen. Now, this is a replay of last year's Europa semi-finals, where Roma ended up winning the first leg 1-0, then they drew the second leg 0-0, and Roma ended up going through into the final. But it's completely different this year. Bayer Leverkusen are on an incredible run this season, but so are Roma. Roma came up against AC Milan in the quarterfinals, and I thought AC Milan were the team that's shown the better form. They have the better history, and I did think AC Milan were actually going to advance to the semifinals, but Roma did prove me wrong, beating them 2-1 in the second leg, winning 3-1 on aggregate. So winning both of their legs against AC Milan, home and away. They only had 36% possession in that second leg and three shots on target but they made every single shot count and were ultimately the better team I think that's going to give them massive massive amounts of confidence coming into the semi-final against Bayer Leverkusen now they also came up against Napoli on Sunday and ended up drawing that 2-2 they're also having a pretty decent Serie A season sitting in fifth at the moment with only one loss in their last five games across all competitions and they've picked up some really nice form from their last 16 games they've only lost two games and they've won 10 out of those 16 games so Roma are definitely starting to get a reputation at the end of the season for being a very very informed side 
Roma also have a lot of experience in European competitions. This is their fourth consecutive time reaching a semi-final in the European uh, in a European competition. We know that they made it to the final of Europa last year, but it's not going to be easy coming up against this very inspirational Bayer Leverkusen side. Now, Bayer Leverkusen came up against West Ham in the quarterfinals, and while I did think Bayer Leverkusen were going to advance from that quarterfinal, I do think West Ham made it a little bit touch and go for them in that second leg. Yes, Bayer Leverkusen won the first leg 2-0 and then drew the second leg 1-1 and did enough to make it through into the semi-finals. They're also coming off a 2-2 draw against Stuttgart over the weekend where they came back again from a two-goal deficit to draw that game, keeping their unbeaten season alive. That is absolutely ridiculous. They're on a 46-game unbeaten streak and I don't think they're going to let it up here against Roma they've already won the Bundesliga made history in the Bundesliga going unbeaten so far in the Bundesliga and going to try to do it for the rest of the season they broke uh, by Munich's run in the Bundesliga and it's the first time in 120 years that Bayer Leverkusen have won that competition so they're going to look to make more history by winning Europa and I think they're still in the uh, Pokal Cup out in Germany so for me Roma have been very, very good at home. And this is a very, very difficult game to predict just because Bayer Leverkusen's form. But it's just so tough. Away from home against Roma, I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. My betting tip is Bayer Leverkusen to win or draw and over one and a half goals. (laughs) 